on today's episode of how whack are the fuel prices. That is whack. So me and the pup did a little camping last night. I've got all my fishing rods in the back of my truck and we're gonna head out to the old North Florida Keys to go ahead and get some fishing done, so. But first, I have not cooked any breakfast yet, so we're gonna go ahead and get Lollipop out and make some eggs and some bacon. Hey, what are you doing? You got something caught around you, dude. You got just getting caught around you. All right, so on today's menu, we have got some scrambled eggs, some thick sliced bacon, and of course we gotta drizzle everything with tons of mozzarella cheese. All right, so I know this is probably not the best. I am just kind of lazy sometimes. Don't feel like buttering the pan. So I've got this spray canola oil that we're gonna go ahead and put on and try. Lola, come here. Hey, get over here, dude. This is why I need a real metal fork. All right, so we got the goods all done. Bam. Time to split these bad boys up. Bam, 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 bam. You know, lollipop's excited. There you go, baby. Might as well done call me Chef Taylor. But as you guys know, we are missing one thing on my breakfast and that would be good old butter syrup butter rich syrup oh yes came out pretty gas and i like my bacon nice and crispy mm. look who's bagging down there she already ate all her food. She won't show mine. You better know. All right, we got breakfast all cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead, head to the bait shop, get some shrimp real quick, and head to our fishing spot, baby. No, I'm, I'm getting the same two dozen. It was my first time catching a red yesterday. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You got three. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Yeah, they were. I had a. Uh, we got a 21, a 20, and an 18. Thank you. Hello. Got two, two dozen shrimp. Ugh. Caught my first redfish yesterday. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I was pumped. I caught a couple big ones. 
Oh, big for me. <laughs> You're like, I got you now. <laughs> yep, you have a good one. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. I'm by no means a professional fisherman. I've got my cheap little $6 Ozark Walmart rod. And then we went and got some shrimp from the shop. So, got a beautiful little fishing spot right here. We're gonna go ahead and throw out a couple casts. So I went to the bait shop to get two dozen shrimp and huh, there's a squid in there as well. Let's go ahead and try to put her on and see if we can catch anything. All right, it's been a few hours, a couple nibbles, no bites. So we're gonna have to resort to the old grocery store for dinner tonight. So I think I found us a camping spot. It's actually in a residential area, quite a bit safer than the video where the gunshots were shot off at. As you can see, there's a nice big apartment complex right there. The beach is actually only about a half mile down that way, but there are no signs that say I can't park here. So we're gonna send it. And for tonight's single course dinner, we have got one of my favorite dishes that I like to cook. We have got some pigs and some blankets, baby. All right, so we have got the Camp Chef oven out, baby. So we got the oven all lit. We just gotta let it preheat real quick. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and make these pigs in a blanket. All right, so clearly, I don't know how to open one of these. Being a little stupid right now. All right, so now we've got all the bad boys wrapped up. 
going to go ahead and stick them in the oven for 15 minutes. Wait. And of course, as soon as we start to cook, it's raining, getting everything wet. I think they're done, but we got to be quick. That rain is hitting. one thing about Florida that Florida rain comes out of nowhere but we were able to get our ooh, pigs in a blanket I like mine a little bit doughier so I didn't let them stay in there as long see how these bad boys taste mmm perfect that rainstorm's done in about five minutes but you know the pup we're outside. Hey. Good girl. Hey, you cool puppy. Me and Lola, we're going to hit sheets and we will see you tomorrow morning. Good night, guys.